Hello, my sleepy bears, or in this case, it's psychic bears. My name is Chronically Blue, and welcome to Psychonauts. I am actually excited to start this. This has been on my game list for quite a while. I've I can't tell you how many times I've started the game and played five seconds of it, and that's it. So, okay, right, so we got continue, load a save game, and start a new game. So we're gonna go ahead and start a new game. The human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, 1,500 grams of complex neural matter. A three pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield. What? And the ultimate weapon. What? The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers. Mental Marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead. And this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. Yay. <laughs> oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psychonaut, then you might as well be dead. <laughs> They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years. And trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen. Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch! I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests, Superstar Psychonauts Sasha Nine and Mia Bodello. Whoa! Light monster! Formation. Resisting. Quick, bring it over here. What is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Get, get in. My name. Starts with a D. Is Rasputin. What? But everybody calls me Raz. Please don't kill us, Lake Monster! Compelling. Armored like a tank. Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? L listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need <laughs> to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. 
to wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your yeah. father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Hmm? Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. Okay, so that was actually the first time that I've actually... Darling, oh, there's more. You can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something. To make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen. But they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find? What they don't expect? Is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? <laughs> no. Do you do that? No. Well, once kind of. What? But... Now I wear this special hat. <laughs> Wanna try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I've got big plans for that mind. Okay. So, uh, as I was saying, this is actually the first time that I sat through and watched the intro. Uh, if, oh yeah, it's fine. Eh. Um, if, if I don't do a let's play of a game, then I don't focus on the story. So I just skip lots of the cutscenes. but this is really interesting. All right, settle down in here. Hey, hey tomorrow. I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot. I'm the early bird, and you're the worms. Got it? Nope. Now, lights out! Okay. So, if you remember, I teased this game at the ending of Shadow the Hedgehog. My original plan was to do Shadow the Hedgehog 100%. Okay, quick eye exam before we start. Look over that way, if you will. Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a Psy challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh-huh. Now look up for me, if you will. Hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these Psy cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a Psy core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up, and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a Psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? That guy looks so familiar. To change your camera preferences, Press A button to open your journal and select options from the first page. So, ah, uh, so many cutscenes. Hey, Raz, hurry up! You don't want to be late for basic braining! Woohoo! Basic braining is the best class ever! Woohoo! Okay. I heard this one time a kid was late for basic. Braining. Now we're here. So, I originally was going to do Shadow the Hedgehog, uh, 100%. 
But your first arrowhead. Arrowheads are made of titanium, a rare psychoreactive mineral, which makes them very valuable. You can use arrowheads to buy items at the camp store and other places you find. Yes, we found a side card. Collect nine of these and you can build a side challenge marker out of them. But you need to get a side core from the camp store. It's almost like they just told us that. So, you're dating Elka now. Does that mean we won't hang out as much? Shoot, I reckon things ain't gonna change one bit. Doggone it, partner. No woman's never gonna... Hey, you're gonna make my boyfriend late for class. Come on, James. Come. On. So, I was originally going to 100% Shadow the Hedgehog. Just go through, do it all. However, the PS2 version is the worst version to play of that game. Uh, the frame rate, uh, the controls, all of it's horrible. And so what I did originally was I went and uh, got Psychonauts on the PS4 because it was on sale and I like using my PS4. That game makes it widescreen, which is cool, but with it being widescreen, everything else took a dive. The frame rate, there's clipping, it's, it's horrible. It really is, it is not great. So I'm like, you know what, forget this. I'm just gonna try to find it on the Xbox or whatever. I didn't, I forgot that I had it on the computer. Turns out it does work well on the computer and I've already had it on the computer. I have a little controller here so you don't have to hear the clicky clacks. And yeah, so here we are. Uh, let's go check in on Doug. I'm telling you for the last time, no. I would never do that. I could never kill everyone. Oh, hi, Raz. Squirrel trouble? They're liars and all. Whatever they tell you, it's a lie. I'll take your word for it. You going to class? Yeah, I'll meet you up there. As soon as they get these guys to shut up. <laughs> okay. What is that face? Oh my god! He killed the squirrels! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna love this game. Oh, I'm gonna love this game. As you can hear, there will be some parts where the audio kind of clips out. I can't do anything about that. As far as I know, that's just kind of how the game is. But I'd rather have the audio clip out sometimes instead of everything look horrible and clippy. So uh, I'll, I'll take it where I can. Hey, where are you going, Malou? Shh, I snuck out. That class is a death trap for crazy people. Listen, the coach is strong. At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind. And then there's nothing you can do about it. But once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me before I get hurt. Too late! Bobby! Ah! <laughs> hey, kid! You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection service. Cough it up, my loser. Or you'll be coughing up bloody tears. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. Really? Because you look more like the cotton candy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Benny, put this kid dead on my to-do list. Come on, we'll see him in class. Yeah, we'll settle this on the battlefield. Uh-huh. Your journal is a great place to see what you've done so far and plan what you're going to do next. You can use it to save and load your progress. Change your options and there's a helpful map in the back. Press button to open your journal. That's great. So we, I could definitely make this uh, uh, 1080 by 1920, but seeing from how the PS4 handled it, uh, I'm just gonna keep it at this aspect ratio. Plus I get to use my really cool little background I made. Coach Oleander? I'm reporting for basic training. Son, do you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind. 
you will have to relive every bullet-scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced. Won't be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? Uh, we're gonna explore well, a little bit. Maybe I will explore a bit more before. Just so I'm prepared for class. No hurry, no hurry. Enjoy your childhood before it's ripped away from you, son. Alrighty. And as well as I want to point out that if the if the voice actor for Raz sounds familiar, uh, that is the same voice actor as Daggett from the Angry Beavers. As well as they've also voiced quite a few other people as well. Oh! <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna love this game, I can tell. So, the reason why we are not going through there just yet is because, well, we're already quite a little bit ways into this game. And I'm only planning on recording this first episode here, just so everyone can, like, get the gist of it, be a little intrigued, see what's going on. So what's going to happen is we're actually going to end it right here. And next episode is when we're going to go into some mines, so we can see what's going on. Uh, try to figure out what's going to happen. Let's talk to this person. New boy. Seen bear lurking in woods? Nope. Positive. Giant, hairless bear? Nope. In Russia, bears much smaller. Also more hair. Less lurking. Always eager to wrestle. This one, hide and run. I'll let you know if I see any. Cannot lurk forever, bear. Alrighty. Uh, lots of interesting characters, but yes, as I said, we are actually going to go ahead and put a pause on here. So we are actually going to go ahead and check back next time to see what the guy's head is like and learn a little more about everyone, actually. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you all next time. Thank you all for watching. Psychic Bears.